here at Sea Life Kelly Tartans. We're just going to be doing one of our routine checkups on one of our rescued sea turtles. This here is our loggerhead sea turtle. Uh, she arrived to us in December 2019 after she was found washed up on Bailey's Beach uh, on the west coast of the Upper North Island. When she came to us, she had a really large open wound on her right flipper uh, and a really nasty bone infection. So she's come a long way. Unfortunately, she's had to have her right flipper amputated. Uh, this was to give her the best chance of recovery in the long run. So right now she's living in our quarantine area and she's getting daily medication. Uh, when she first came to us, she was getting a lot of tube feeding, but she's gotten a lot better and she's healing really, really nicely. Our intention is to move her into our Turtle Bay Ocean area and then eventually we'll be able to release her back to the wild if all goes well. So for her routine checkup today, we're going to take her weight and we're going to measure the carapace length and width. And then we're also gonna take some photos of her flippers so that we can send them to the Auckland Zoo vets to basically show them how well she's progressing in her healing. Cool, 27.5 kgs. So let's get her carapace length. So we're just going to give her um, a little bit of her medication. This one is in the form of an injection. One of the biggest threats to sea turtles in the wild is plastic pollution. Uh, these guys mistake plastic for food and then they consume the plastic. Plastic's not digestible to anyone really, so it causes an array of health problems for these guys. The good news is that decisions we make can actually help these guys in the long run. Uh, it's really important that we discard of rubbish responsibly and if you do find any plastic on the beach, just to pick it up and to help keep our beaches and our oceans clean. 